Beauty and the Beast, a tale as old as time and arguably Disney's best movie with great characters, believable romantic chemistry, catchy songs, and a message that everyone can learn from. It's about as close to a perfect movie as Disney has ever produced. So of course that means that Disney had to come and try to remake that film shot for shot but somehow worse in every single way possible because Disney hasn't made enough money already and they have to get money from the idiots somehow. As much as I would love to tear this film apart as a whole, I do not have that time with finals for college coming up, so instead I decided to compare one scene from both movies to show why the 1991 is a masterpiece and why the 2017 version fails in almost every single way possible. Because the thing is, I could pick any scene from these two films and compare them and it would still show the problems with the 2017 and why I despise it so much. So for the purpose of this video essay, I decided to go with the West Wing plus the Wolves vs the Beast scene. Also, for those of you, if any, saying, It's not fair to compare these movies since one is a remake. I say, if Disney wants to do a shot-for-shot -shot remake of their original animated films, then they deserve to be compared to the originals, shot-for-shot, -shot, since that's exactly what they're doing to make their money. You're gonna enter the big leagues, you're gonna be judged with the big leagues. Now, onto the video analysis portion. In the 1991 film, as Belle approaches the doors of the West Wing, you can see how dark the castle is with a very low lighting, giving it an almost horror element to the scene, which I think works even more considering that the beast looks almost like a massive horned werewolf. Contrast this to the remake, in which the castle is pretty much illuminated at a constant glow throughout the entire castle. Even the actual West Wing design is vastly inferior in the remake, with there being some piles of destroyed furniture, but even that is limited to a handful of small piles which are pushed off to the side, leaving the main room of the West Wing being very open and fairly clean. If anything, this West Wing looks more like a messy college room student, who just pushes all their junk off to the side to make it look clean in the middle. Compare this to the original, where the West Wing is dark and actually looks like... Well, a beast lives there. Even when the remake is copying the work of the original, it still can't get it right. Imagine a student copying down the right answers on an assignment for school and they can't even cheat properly. In the original, when Belle sees the picture of the beast in his human form up on the wall, it's only his eyes as the beast has torn it apart, and just as Belle is about to put the face back together, the rose catches her attention. This works because when she sees the beast in his human form, she recognizes him by his eyes. That's the only human part that she would have recognized him by. And get used to hearing me say this, but in the remake, the portrait of the beast is a teeny little scratch mark on it, and you can still totally see the face of his human form, so there's not really a reveal for Belle, because BOOM! That's what he looks like. Even though they try to do the same thing by just focusing on his eyes, even though you can see his whole face. The way the rose scene is shot too was also messed up. In the original, she looks at it, goes over, and actually removes the glass container and about to touch the actual rose. Whereas in the remake, she just looks at it behind the glass, and then the beast freaks out immediately, saying his lines as quickly as possible. I mean, I guess I'll let these two scenes play out, but which one hits you more personally? What are you doing here? What did you do to it? Nothing. Do you realize what you could have done? You could have damned this all! Get out of here! Go! In the original, the fact that he checks on the rose shows the severity of the situation and why he's so protective of it. At least it shows this to Belle, who has no idea what the true purpose of this rose is. But we as the audience know, so we can see why he would react this way and why he would check on the rose first, because of what it means to him. Even how the beast freaks out in the original is a million times better, as he both yells, roars, and destroys some furniture, which makes it even scarier for Belle. It makes more sense on why she would leave as soon as she could. I didn't mean any harm. Do you realize what you could have done? Please, stop! Get out! No! Get out! The original also has one key scene that really shows the difference in character work the original is trying to accomplish versus the remake. In the original, it shows the Beast's remorse over his actions of getting angry towards Belle. These little moments really help the audience to empathize with him and to humanize his character. Now say it with me, but in the remake, there's no such thing. But at least we have the servants acting like psychopaths when they try to lock Belle in the castle as she's trying to leave, versus in the original when they were trying to talk to her and begging her not to go. But at least they weren't trying to lock down the place like it was Fort Knox. Now we move on to the second portion, that being the wolf chase slash fight scene. 
And honestly, the chase part is okay in the remake, although it does feel kind of slow since they do have to accompany for a stunt person versus the animated version, which can make the animals run at full speed because animation just allows for a lot more creativity and is much better than live action in my opinion. Belle is cornered in both movies by the wolves, but in the original using her wits, she actually takes out a couple of wolves on her own. And when she's about to become a wolf's entree, she looks horrified. In the original, that is. In the remake, Emma Watson looks like she forgot her line, proving once again that not only can't she sing, but she can't act either. Bring it on, Harry Potter fans. I will fight you all. She was only good because you grew up with her during your childhood. Why they casted her in this movie, I will never understand. Okay, I think I actually do know why they did it. Enter the beast in the original, who snatches the wolf, roaring in its face, throwing it aside, and then staring down the entire pack before the charging as the music crescendos. In the remake, he just tackles it in midair and then throws it. We see the horse's reaction, and then it just cuts to him already engaged in a fight with the wolves with no buildup between the two. The choreography is not very good with the whole fight, with it being one beam gets hit and then thrown, rinse and repeat. Basically like the fight between Batman v Superman. I guess I'm making all sorts of enemies today, aren't I? The editing is also your very standard modern Hollywood bunch of quick shots to hide our crappy CGI. The beast defeats the wolves also. I like how in the original he's able to take on a pack of 10 all at once, even killing some of them. But here he barely beats 4, but the ending shot shows around 9 of them running away. What were those other ones doing? Were they just chilling in the back making bets on if the rest of the pack could win? This is kind of stupid, but in the remake, he looks like he's about to throw up before passing out. I mean, I would too if I had to look at Emma Watson's horrible acting faces. <laughs> Belle actually considers leaving him, and her face shows the conflict of deciding whether to leave him or not in the animated version. In the remake, Emma Watson just looks like she's trying to decide between Cafe Rio or Qdoba. Oh boy, Belle saying, you have to help me, you have to stand, was just in response to channels like Screen Junkies and CinemaSins saying stuff like, uh, how did she get the beast on the horse? Because people are apparently too stupid to logically think and say, hmm, either she probably could have asked him off screen, or she brought over her horse by having it kneel down. Because unlike this film, the OG didn't have to waste time explaining stuff to idiots because it assumed that the audience was smart enough and didn't have to waste its time on these things, instead focusing on the actual important stuff of the film. It's actually kind of incredible the feat the remake accomplished, and I mean that sincerely. I mean, it's incredible that the remake can somehow rush through all the important parts of everything that made the original so great, but prolong and stretch out all the non-important parts. And that's every scene from the remake. They took a formula and then they just repeated it with every scene in the movie until the film was over. Anyway, if you want a more in-depth analysis for the entire movie, I recommend checking these videos out. Links in the description. Anyways, I'm Cameron. Spank that like and subscribe button. They've been Dirty Girls or something like that. And I hope you have a great day. Kisses. Also, I don't get why people think Emma Watson is super hot. I mean, she's okay, but like, really?